Hi friends! Um, this video is going to be used just to show you what you're going to have to do uh, once you start doing distance learning on March 30th. So I hope you're doing well. I miss you. I'm just hanging out at home right now wishing that we were still in school because it's kind of boring around my house. Um, Here's our Schoology page. When you scroll down, you'll see that there's a link for Distance Learning Planner um, March 30th through April 3rd. So you don't have to start doing any work until March 30th, but if you want to start getting ahead, you can go and find this planner and you'll get to see uh, what you're going to have to do for this full week. At the top, you'll notice that there's a note from me and a video that basically tells you how much I really miss you guys. Um, again, starting March 30th, I'm sorry that I didn't get to really outline the research project for you when I was with you. I feel bad that I didn't get to go over, you know, everything that the research project is going to consist of. So you're going to kind of have to read over the directions on your own. Um, basically right away, once you decide, do you want to work with a partner or do you want to work on your own? If you're working with a partner, you're going to have to still practice distance, you know, learning and distance working. So you might have to do some FaceTiming and some texting with your partner. You have to be okay sharing stuff through Google Docs and communicating that way. So decide if you want a partner and then you're going to have to decide on a topic. So if you go to the research project packet in Schoology, it gives you on page three, a ton of different ideas for project choices. So you can go look and see those are some examples of project uh, choices or you can come up with something on your own. But please try to come up with something that interests you. Um, whatever your topic is, it's got to have a lot of research that is able to be found on it and it has to be interesting to you and something that you're really going to want to work on and, and find out more about. Um, once you've decided if you want to have a partner or not, and you've decided on what your topic is going to be. If you go to research groups and topics right here, this link will take you to a place where you can type in your group and then you can type in your topic. You can change your topic. If you realize that your topic is hard to research or you're not finding good stuff about it, or I told you that it's not one that's going to work, you can change it. You can always come up with something different and um, do something new before you get too far along. Um, Next, I want you to go and read through page two of the research project packet because this outlines the entire project and it has all the directions there for you. Some things are going to have to be, you know, flexible and changed a little bit like the presentation because, you know, we might be distance learning for how, how long we don't know. So please read through all these directions. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm also going to have a discussion available on Schoology where you can post um, questions that you have or just check-ins. So um, if you're confused about anything on page two of the research packet, please let me know. When you're ready to start researching, I want you to create a Google Doc and share it with your partner and then also share it with me. Um, this will be your research journal you see right here. So title it research journal and then add your names to it as well. So research, research journal and then your names. Um, and you're going to share it with your partner and share it with me. And this is where you're going to keep all the research that you find on your topic. So links to articles, maybe a full article, maybe you'll copy and paste a full article into your research journal. Um, include the date of when you found uh, the research that you found. Um, basically, it's going to be your one place where you and your partner will save all the research that you find. It is very, very important that the research that you find um, is credible. I need you to have credible articles. It can't be blogs, you know, or Wikipedia necessarily. You have to make sure that you're finding uh, information that is actually very reliable. So um, this assignment called Is My Source Credible is worth 10 points and every person needs to do it. You're basically going to read an article and it's going to tell you about how to identify whether or not a source is credible and there's questions at the bottom of the article. So read it and then respond to the questions and then turn it in on Schoology for 10 points by Friday, April 3rd. Um, that's something that's really important. If you're including research um, in your project and in your paper and your presentation that isn't really reliable or seems like it might be biased, um, it's just, it's going to make your whole project kind of fall apart. So hopefully this assignment will help you understand that you have to find really reliable and credible information. Um, as you begin the research uh, portion of your project, Mac and Via is a website 
actually it's a school bot database that's super wonderful and super helpful and every single thing in Mac and Via you already know is credible and reliable. So if you use Mac and Via, you don't have to worry about checking for credibility because we already know it's credible. That's why our school bought it for us. So Mac and Via is um, linked in Schoology. You can go find the link and also I want you to watch this video. This video is made by Mrs. Yank in the Media Center, and it basically goes through how to get to Mac and Via, how to use it, how to navigate it, um, and she just kind of talks about why it's it's so important to use it um, and what's good about it. So um, definitely check out Mac and Via and watch this video so that you know more about how to get started with researching. I miss you. There's a picture of Bentley trying to eat snow. Again, if you need anything, please let me know. I hope this is laid out okay for you and it's not too overwhelming and confusing. But um, if you ever need anything, I'm available. Email me and um, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.